balancing a stick on your finger might be a challenge, but put something heavy on the top, such as an orange, and it's much easier. Why is that? The more mass you have, the more inertia you have. Inertia, recall, is the tendency of something to not change what it's doing. So the orange has all this inertia. That means a greater tendency to stay where it is. That's why it's easier to balance a hammer on your finger like this than like this. We talked about inertia earlier with Newton's first law of motion. Things at rest tend to stay at rest. Things in motion tend to stay in motion. Here, however, we'll be looking at cases where the potential motion is rotational. We call this sort of inertia rotational inertia. Two standing sticks, one with an orange on top, the other without. They'll both fall forward, which will fall slower. Think of this in terms of inertia. The stick with the orange has more inertia and thus a greater resistance to change. That's why it lags behind. However, we find that the distance the mass is located from the axis of rotation is also important. Let's put oranges of equal mass on both sticks, but with one orange toward the middle of the stick, which will fall slower. Think of this in terms of how far the mass is located from the axis of rotation. The farther the mass, the more distance that needs to be covered. Frankly, that's an added burden. You're asking more of the mass. You want me to travel how far? Watch how it complains. Uh, sorry to anthropomorphize, but the main point is that there are two ways to increase this thing we call rotational inertia. You can increase the mass, or you can increase the distance from the axis of rotation. Look at these two dumbbells of identical mass. Which is harder to rotate? The one where the mass is distributed farther away from the center. Why do you suppose we can move our legs faster when we curl them up as we run? Answer, we're keeping our legs closer to our body, which means less rotational inertia. Why does a tightrope walker want a long pole to help his balance? Answer, he wants more rotational inertia, that is, more resistance to falling sideways. Now, why does a jar of peanut butter take longer to roll down a ramp than the same jar filled with water? Or does it? Try and see. Good energy.